Kelvin, it's been a minute. Wilson Morales What's up, man? TV. Hey. <laughs> How you Kinda doing? I don't recognize you with your long hair. <laughs> hey, you know, quarantine got me growing it out, man. <laughs> you know, so you've got this film, which has been long in the waiting. It's finally coming out. Obviously, take me back to when you got this script and your people told you about this. What was the uh, excitement about saying yes to taking on this role? Whew. I think... Uh... I think it, I didn't really realize that I wanted to do it because I felt like it was almost too much for me to handle. I had never done a role like this. I never been a lead in a movie. So I was like, I don't really know if I have, what, I have all the, the tools yet. Um, but I thought I realized in that moment that that's exactly why I should do the part. It was because of the fact that I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted. And I was just curious about life. And that's exactly what Steve is going through. So yeah, I just... I, I wanted to I wanted to answer the questions in real time. Now, this is something obviously that a lot of people are going through in real life. This is also based on a book. You know, what did you do more? Did you do research or did you read the book to get more of an inspiration? It was more research. And I, I mean, and I went to the book for to understand Steve's in a monologue and, and, and how he's kind of processing it all. Okay. Um, but um, you know, the book came out in 99, I believe. And, you know, this movie, um, it's kind of, we shot it in 2016. So it's a very different world per se. And I, I think it was looking to the new kids of the time and, and, and what privileges they had and what Stuyvesant meant to him and um, what it was like to be an artist and to be a New York kid. You know, I learned about all the slang and just the way they moved. And that's a very different thing. So it was, uh, it was, a, it was about half and half, you know, you use all the tools and supplemental materials that you can to kind of create these, these, these characters in this world, you know. Time has gone by. Does the film still hold up for when you shot it? Can people still see it and still relate to it? Oh, absolutely. I think 100%. I think, <clears throat> I think, uh, I think right now is a very heightened moment in our understanding and our, how we view, um, the justice system, how we view mass incarceration, how we view just um, the lives of black and brown bodies, right? And what is beautiful, I think, about this movie is that we often don't get to see, you know, uh, see who these young kids are. We don't get to get the full story. We don't get to see how they interact with their friends. We don't get to see their little first loves. We don't get to see their parents. All we get is what the media gives us. And oftentimes they want to bunch us all together, withhold information and say, all of them are this. He looks the part to me is what the prosecutor said. So I think um, with our passion that we all share in this moment for trying to um, dismantle the systems that have existed for years, we also get another supplemental material as a film to remind us what it is that our goal is and, and also remind us of our humanity as we as we push through such a traumatic experience for many of us. Um, so yeah, I do it's a timely and as the the the, the hot buzzword for this press tour is timely and relevant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, yeah. this was your first big role. Obviously you've gone on to do other roles and as you as I see you now, you're preparing for another role. So it's always good talking to you. Obviously uh, we'll talk down the road because you're gonna continue to work. Uh, best of luck with everything that's going on. Stay safe. And uh, we'll look forward to telling people about this movie. Take care. Appreciate you, Wilson, always, man. Have a good one. All right. Bye.